हेलो गाइस सो वेलकम टू आवर चैनल कोड लाइब्रेरी एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द सेकंड क्वेश्चन ऑफ द 450 फिफ्टी डी शीट प्रोवाइड बाई लब्बर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द क्वेश्चन इज फाइंड द मैक्सिमम एंड मिनिमम एलिमेंट इन एर ए यूजिंग द मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ कंपेरिजन सो वी हैव टू फाइंड द मैक्सिमम एंड मिनिमम एलिमेंट इन एर ए यूजिंग मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ कंपेरिजन सो आवर फर्स्ट अप्रोच इज वेरी सो यो हेयर वॉट वील डू वी हैव टेक एन एर ए टू फाइव वन सिक्स थ्री फोर सो आवर फर्स्ट अप्रोच इज दैट वी कैन सॉर्ट द एर ए एंड सिंपली प्रिंट द फर्स्ट एलिमेंट एंड द लास्ट एलिमेंट द मिनिमम वैल्यू विल बी द फर्स्ट एलिमेंट एंड द मैक्सिमम वैल्यू विल बी आवर लास्ट एलिमेंट सो हेयर वी हैव द टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी एन लॉग एन बिकॉज शॉर्टिंग ओनली टेक्स द टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी ऑफ एन लॉग एन वी हैव सम बेटर अप्रोचेज इन ओ ऑफ एन सोल्यूशन सो वाट so what we will do we will keep the maximum of first two variable as a max so it will be 5 and the minimum of first two elements as a minimum variable so in mi we will store 2 and after that we will run our loop from third element to our last element and simply uh, by running a loop we will simply check whether this element is greater than max that so we will check if one is greater than max If so, then we will update. But we can see that one is not greater than five, so we will not update the max element. Then we will see check that whether one is less than mean. So we saw that yes, it's true. So we will update the two with one. Then we will iterate our loop and check whether six is greater than max. So we will check whether six is greater than max. Yeah, we have seen that this is true. So we will update the five with six. and we will check whether 6 is less than mean so it's false so we will not update it like that we will uh, we will check for 3 the, like that we will check for 4 then after the iteration we can see the our maximum element is 6 and minimum element is 1 so this is our first approach now we are going to code for better clarification so what we will do here first we have taken input as n then c in n we have initialized the array we have taken the input for the array that c in i then we have taken int max and int mean so first we have we have checked here that if n is double equals to 1 then we know that if we did the n is 1 that is if we have one element in the array then max and mean will be same for the max and mean so we have updated the max and mean as array of 0 now here we will check that uh, that i have told you here and we will update the max and min element firstly with the first two element the maximum of first two element and minimum of first two element so we have check check there if array of 0 is greater than array of 1 then max will be array of 0 and min will be array of 1 else max will be array of 1 and min will be array of 0 now we have checked the first two element so we will iterate our loop from third element as it is a zero based indexing so we will start the loop from 2 to n then we will simply check if array of i is greater than max we will update the max with array of i then we will check if array of i is less than min we will update the min with array of i then after the for loop then we will simply print out the maximum value will be max and minimum value mean if we will run our code this is our input if we run our code then we will get the maximum value as 5 and minimum value as 1 yeah we got output maximum value will be 1 and minimum value will be 1 so sorry, sorry maximum will be 5 and minimum will be 1 okay so for the comparison how many comparison it is been here so we can see that we have already checked the first two element here so we have done plus 1 after that we have yeah after that we have run here for n minus 2 loops will be run for n minus 2 now every operation we have checked that we have two operations are being there so we have therefore here total comparison is 2 into n minus 2 plus 1 so in the second approach we will do same thing in the first time that is we will update the maximum value and minimum value from the first two element that is we will update the max that as 5 it is being maximum from first two element and the minimum with 2 after that we will run our loop from 3 third element to last element and we will check the two two elements at a time so first of all we will check if array of i is greater than array of i plus 1 so we can see that that array of i here is greater than array of i plus 1 so we will check one more comparison here that if array of i 
इज ग्रेटर देन मैक्स तो हम लोग देख रहे हैं यहाँ पर कि एरे ऑफ आई इज ग्रेटर देन मैक्स इट्स ट्रू सो विल अपडेट द मैक्स वैल्यू विथ एरे ऑफ आई so we can see that 6 is greater than 1 so we will update the 5 with 6 so our maximum element will be 6 and we'll also check if array of i plus 1 is less than minimum element if this condition holds true then we will update the minimum value will be array of i plus 1 so we can see that here array of i plus 1 is 1 so we can see that 1 is less than 2 yeah it's true so we will update the 2 with 1 so this is the first comparison so if this condition holds doesn't holds true then we will check if array of i is less than array of i plus 1 If this condition holds true, then it means that array of i is smaller than array of i plus one. I plus one, yeah. So we will check whether array of i plus one is greater than max. If this holds true, then we will update max with array of i plus one. And we will also check that. If array of i is less than mean, if this holds true, then we will update the mean as array of i. So this is our algorithm that this holds true. Like this, we will update our i equals to i plus two, and now after that we will check the next two elements that is three and four. Like that, we will update the max and mean. Now after the iterating all the elements we can see that our maximum element is 6 and minimum element is 1 now we can go to the code part for our next approach our code is this first we will simply check i have taken the input c n i have taken the array input the array we have taken the max and mean and i for the loop then we will simply check if the n mod 2 double equal to 0 it means that there is even number of elements why we have checked this because minimum we can have two elements in the array so we have checked whether array of 0 is greater than array of 1 we will update the max with array of 0 and min with array of 1 else we will update the max with array of 1 and min with array of 0 and else if we have the odd number of elements then we can have the minimum one elements in our array that's why we have updated max and mean both with array of 0 now we have seen this now we will run our loop from i is less than n up till then now we will check as i have told that first we will check two elements the array of i is greater than array of i plus 1 if this holds true it means that array of i is bigger than array of 1 so we will check whether array of i is greater than max so we will update the max element we will also check that array of i plus 1 is less than mean then we will update the mean element and else if this condition doesn't hold true then we will check whether array of i plus 1 is greater than max because this this condition doesn't hold true it means that array of i plus 1 is now bigger than array of i so we will check if this condition holds true then we will update the max as array of i plus 1 we will also check that if array of i is less than mean we will update the mean as array of i and we'll update the i with 2 because we have checked the two element now we have to shift to third element so we have updated the loop with i equals to i plus 2 and after this loop will complete we will update our maximum value and minimum value and we will print here now here the number of comparison first of all we have two comparisons here that is for odd and for even we have different odd answers so for odd what we have seen that for odd we have seen that if the number of element is odd then this will be false so we will come here and here we don't have any comparison we have only comparison in the while loop okay so here we have made i equals to 1 that is only first element is being checked so our loop will run from 2 to n okay so here either we will go to this if or we will go to this else and we can see that in every if we have three comparison 1 2 and 3 and here also we have one if if this is not true then this will be one and this will be true and this will be three so we can see that in the loop in every iteration we are having three checkings three comparisons and we are iterating the loop with i equals to i plus 2 that means we can have 
3 min, uh, 3 into n minus 1 by 2 checkings in the whole array so when the n is odd then we will have 3 into n minus 1 by 2 operations i mean checkings and if the n goes to even then the checking will be same only we have one extra checking for first two element that is this one so we will have this extra checking with this extra comparison so for even we have 1 plus 3 into n minus 1 by 2 like this if you take an example like if we take n equal to 6 so if we'll put in this uh, comparison equation so 6 minus 2 4 4 into 2 8 plus 1 9 so this will be 9 so here we are having 9 comparison for n equal to 6 and here if we'll put n is as it is even we'll put here so 6 minus 2 4 4 into 3 12 12 by 2 6 6 plus 1 7 we can see that it has 7 comparison so we can see that this is our optimized solution for this code as it has less minimum number of comparison of our questions so thank you and um, so here i have explained you the question number two you will get the next question in the next video so if you are new to our channel please subscribe our channel and also like share and um, also we will see in the next video so thank you bye bye